Here's how you can find two really beautiful star clusters. First, identify Pegasus. It's the great square of stars overhead in autumn, or spring if you're in the southern hemisphere. If you're in the northern hemisphere, the horse will be upside down, so use your imagination here. You've got to follow the neck to the head. The brighter of the two clusters, known as M2, is found by following a straight line off the head. The smaller of the two clusters, M15, is found just in front of the horse's snout. Let's move over to the telescope. Get your finder positioned here for M2 or here for M15. Now moving over to the eyepiece. Through binoculars or small telescopes, these clusters will look like tiny smudges. But in telescopes with high apertures, you should be able to see the individual stars. Now these star clusters are not within our galaxy. They orbit our galaxy in a region called the halo. These clusters are called globular clusters, which are balls of hundreds of thousands of very old stars. I'm astronomer John Reed, and this is Learn to Stargaze. I included these clusters in the book 110 Things to See with a Telescope. Leave a note in the comments if there's any targets you'd like to see next. I'm Heather, this is Learn to Stargaze. I said I'm Heather. It's late at night.